Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Fontworks in LibreOffice Writer. So sometimes this is called word art as well. So when we go ahead and open up LibreOffice Writer here, we've got a blank document. And the first thing we're going to do is go to view and then click on the toolbar option here and then click on drawing here. Make sure drawing is selected here. And when you click on that option, this toolbar down the bottom will appear. You can see loads of different shapes and stuff like this. I'll go through some of this later. But for now, we're going to focus on font work. So when you click on here, you see these options appear. You have all these different styles of font. And they're not really, um, you know, fonts that you would normally use, like, like Arial or Sans Serif or any of these standard fonts like Times Roman. So when we click on one of these fonts, we'll click OK. You can see the font is quite different, right? But this font is still editable so what you can do imagine if you're doing like a christmas party flyer or something like that for work or for friends and you want something nice and colorful not your just bog standard font then you can use font works down here so to edit the font or the text you double click inside and then you can type something else in so we're typing like christmas party and once you've typed your text then you need to click outside so you click outside of the text or somewhere down here and then you will have like Christmas party now you can actually click on the font and then hold down the shift key so when you're holding down the shift key on your keyboard you can resize it and it will resize it in scale if you don't hold down the shift key then you can stretch and do whatever you want to it but holding down the shift will make sure that it sizes in scale so we'll size it to something like this for example right and we can maybe flatten it out a little bit something like this so that would be pretty good. Then what you can do is after you've got that style, you can click on this second option, shape, and you can start picking other shapes. So you don't have to have that shape. You can have it like wavy. You can uh, have it in perspective. You can change it the way that it looks. You can have it bent. So you can play around with this. Maybe you, you use different styles for different parts of the content on the document. Uh, you just need to experiment and find out what you like. So there's loads of different shapes here. Um, just play around with it and see what you like. So let's try and find one we like. It looks inflate. So it, that's the original one. It was inflate, right? So we'll stretch it out a little bit. Say something like this. So this could be the title for a little fly you're designing. Something you're just going to print out at home rather than sending it to the printers. So you could have that title there. And you could write some more content below. And then you could pick a different one. So you could... Or you can replicate it, you can copy it. Um, we can select it. Let's say we press Ctrl C to copy, then Ctrl V to paste. And now we've got two copies. In this second text, we could type something like 24th December 2018. So we can tell people when it's going to be. Click outside. Then we've got the date. And the date we might put, for example, down towards the bottom, right? And put all of our content all of our written stuff in between. So the, the cursor doesn't actually, um, this text here doesn't actually affect where the cursor is. So you need to carriage return a few times and then move your mouse cursor down and you can write some text in here about the particular event or where it's located. Now, if you click on this bottom one, you can click on the gradient here and you can change the color gradient. So you can change it to different versions here. So you can play around with these can have like different styles green is maybe nice for like Christmasy sort of green and this can be sort of Christmas sort of colors right you can play around with it here um, so just have a little experiment and see what you like maybe sunshine something like this nice and bright um, then what we could do is maybe have a look at a few other examples before we finish so let's click on font works one more time and let's have a look at maybe let's have a look at this one this one's sort of like that's pretty cool, right? So that's kind of like in this perspective sort of style. So if we wrote in here, uh, so if you click on it, double click, we can change the text and maybe we'll write, um, let's let's have fun, something like this at your Christmas party. We'll click that. Then we can maybe have it like this or sort of something like this put that down here maybe we can make it a bit smaller let's stretch it out a bit 
we can place that here somewhere and then we can change the color of that one this is just like a flat color so when you select the color options you've got all these different options in here so you need to find out what you want to use so maybe we look at something like a uh, tonal right so these are like simple flat colors you can change that as well there doesn't seem to be an option for gradient I don't see one in here so this sort of font maybe it doesn't support gradient um, but there's loads of different colors in there you can do custom you can do you've got quite a few options in here or you can just do like HTML colors you just need to experiment and see what looks good that doesn't look too good so let's pick something bright like this so go ahead and experiment I'm not sure um, what else we can do here there's like wrapping and stuff like this but these this is like the basics right and then you can go and experiment and move the content around something like this maybe maybe we'll make that sort of an orange sort of color so it's kind of matching up with what's at the top so you can go and go ahead and open up a LibreOffice document also note this work also works in a similar way in um, open office writer as well so if you've got open office installed you can do exactly the same thing and you can do the same thing in LibreOffice writer as well so have a little play around if you're planning a Christmas party then uh, you can make a little flyer print that out and then hand it around the office or to your friends and family if it's a personal uh, sort of event and you can make something a bit bit more uh, presentable a bit more fun let's say okay let's close this down I won't save this document in this case and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.